Okay guys, um, this I've noticed something very very interesting. Welcome back to my channel, Chichi Khan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've noticed something very interesting. This mic is uh, the people use for ASMR. You know what I mean by that annoying sound that people make that are supposed to make you like. So what do you think? Should I, put, should I have my, should I create an, an um, ASMR channel just for people? I'm good, right? <laughs> okay, what I'm about to react to is not a funny thing. I feel like playing a con locked up. I got locked up, they won't let me out. Oh, they won't let me out. So if you're living somewhere, I believe everybody around the world knows this. As long as you have the phone, your internet, the top G and the T got Detained, not so people say it's arrested, but to me it's detained. Got detained since the twenty now, the thirtieth of December towards the year. They didn't want they didn't want him to spend the year outside, they wanted to lock him up. After him and the the uh, I don't know, Shisha, uh, what they call it, what they call this thing again, global warming queen or whatever. The all these people that are happy about global warming, that's always shouting alarm creating I don't know what they do about global warming. I mean, in Africa, I don't really know what I do. There's people in Europe and other countries that should fucking fix the problem they're causing global warming, not us. So, it's not really affecting no, because we created nothing. We did nothing from Africa here. Yeah. Even by the ones that did it, so deal with it. Okay, so this place with um, Andrew Tate, he got detained. Him and his brother Tristan got detained. Just we hear so many stories. It should have been really. Like, if I did I ain't meant to appeal the bill. Like, I don't know, man. The guy has no priors, no one. So I don't know why they still holding him. Someone like SBF that did the crap that he did was actually built that easily. Someone like I do, where's he going to? Everybody knows his face. Everybody in the world knows who and the is. Where's he running? So he's going to stay and deal with it. He got to face it. If he come tell you, face got it. Like, come on. Just, the guy has to prove his innocence because of who he is. Because if he doesn't prove his innocence, people are going to stop trusting him. So this is a guy that has everything to lose. I don't prove his nonsense. That's what the judge should have reasons. I don't like to detain him. Yo, let's watch the this apparently this is um the reason why they don't want to grant him bail or something. I just saw it. Okay guys, there's an update on the Andrew Tate arrest situation. Yeah. Apparently he's staying in jail for the full 30 days. And I would probably ask him, well, why? Why is he staying there for 30 days? Well, the Romanian lawyer uploaded a new video on his YouTube. See what the judge said. You should definitely check it out. And he basically to the guys YouTube channel he directly. why these decisions were made. And I find it very interesting. So please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe with notifications. And yeah, let's get into it. What's up guys, this is Steph. And this is the reasoning of the Okay, let's do this way. I'll just see. In regards to keeping the Tate brothers on. I'll just see the documents. Now I've read this nine page legal document okay. and I've extracted the key points from it. Oh, it point out this is not an Tate's lawyer, this is just a Romanian lawyer, a guy that knows the law in Romania where Andy Tate is detained, that knows him and his brother detained, that knows things. So, okay, so he can extrapolate and give us ideas that us that we, we don't. I think it's is this civil law or common law they, f f they're using um, Romania? I think it's civil law, not common law, because UK and some other countries use common law. I think America is common law also. I think common law is innocent of the proving guilty. Uh, the, then civil law is the other way around. I can't, I can't remember it. 
to present them to you. I will start with the page number one. On this page, the judge is just referring to the legislation that is being used for this decision and he's just setting okay, the legal foundation or the legal framework, if you will, for this specific case. Okay. Now moving on to the page number two, the judge goes on and provides information about the suspects and the charges that they are facing. Now what I found interesting and I just wanted to point out, it looks like only one of the four suspects is facing charges related to rape. I would assume that that's Andrew Tate. Now the other three suspects are only facing charges related to three times human trafficking and the establishment of a criminal organized group. Moving on to page number three, the judge says that the witnesses statements are matching the facts resulting from the psychological reports and the conversations that took place through the phone applications. From this we can conclude that we have three types of evidence so far. Number one, the witnesses statements. Number two, the psychological reports of the victims. And number three, the conversations that took place through the mobile apps between the suspects and the victims. Now on the same page the judge goes on and explain the exact method used by the suspects to lure and deceive the victims into okay. coming to Romania. The lover the boy, supposed lover boy. Page number cap. four. On this page, we have a part that is referring to the rape charges, and the judge acknowledges the following. Number one, the suspects deny the accusations. Number two, the only evidence provided so far by the prosecutor in regards to the rape is a statement made by the witness. And number three. So that's the only. Man, this, this word is weird. Right? Someone just accuses you of something, no evidence or anything. The accusation is enough. Alone is enough to get your life twisted upside down. There should be a law that should pass. Okay, people say that if you pass a law that um if someone if you accuse someone of rape and you are found to accuse someone of rape, then you face consequences. People will not people will not report the rape anymore. You, you, like you understand what I'm saying, right? Like rape victims will be afraid to come forward if they know that like if the guy is fine no they will face charges for accusing someone of but that's the law is not meant to the fact is law should be based on consequence not fairness right like am i making sense it should, it's not about being fair to either party it's about the consequence of actions that's our law is if you commit an action you face the consequence of that action if if you rip someone you face the consequence of rip someone if you lie about rape you face the consequence of lying about rape that should be it's not about fairness that it's not fair that to yeah i mean no what about the people that get accused of rape? Right? Look at okay. What about those that, uh, um, that young footballer? I can't remember his name. That got locked up because he, he really sleep with the girl, and the girl and the mother colluded to accuse the girl of rape. Later, I found out that everything was a lie. But if you destroy the guy's NFL career, millions of dollars, everything gone <laughs> like that, and the girl is innocent walking around. Come on. That's what some of the things that Jutate is fighting against. That it, so many things. That one men are men are refusing to get married. Men are avoiding men like the people paying for sex. That going to go and do all this. Like, come on, man. Things are just wow. Evidence is required in order for the minimum standard of evidence to be met and the suspect to be found guilty of rape. This means that the judge is expecting further evidence in order to move forward with this charge. On the same page, the judge explains that during the investigation phase, it is not necessary that they have enough evidence to keep the suspects under arrest and refers to a few past decisions made by the European Court of Human Rights in other similar cases. Moving on to page number five, the judge confirms that the investigation started nine months ago and that is currently ongoing. He also points out that the fact that the suspects are being under arrest does not mean that they are proven guilty and in fact they are considered innocent until proven guilty. Okay, so I was wrong. You know, so I was proving guilty. You see, the same. Okay, maybe. But it's weird detaining someone to why someone is locked up. They are not consulting investigation for thirty. Detaining someone for thirty days so you can consult. This investigation has been going on for ninety days for nine months. I've not found the evidence you need by now. If not find the evidence you need for nine months, what are you going to find that is not separate now that are locked up? Like, am I the one? Am I deluding myself? Am I confused? Am I lost? Am I in the twilight zone somewhere or something? Am I lost? Like what? says that he wants to keep the suspects under arrest because they are recognized internationally but also because they are facing serious charges and if they are set free that could harm the public order by creating social insecurity the fact that they have huge exposure on social media and the fact that they have a lot of attention from the news that, also that's plays a key role on this decision that's crap. The judge goes on and says that one of the big threats of setting them free would be the society's perception in regards to the act of justice he actually says something like if we set them free the people will lose faith in the legal system because the charges that they are facing are serious, while a gentle reaction to this situation will create social insecurity. Moving on to page number 6, here we can mainly find the definition of human trafficking 
and the conditions that need to be met in order for this crime to exist. I will just mention a few of these conditions. From a human rights point of view, the human trafficking implies the physical and psychological aggression of the victims, abuse of trust and forcing them to work. From an economic point of view, the human trafficking implies financial and monetary gains for the suspects, national and international networks for the operations, and money laundering. From an origin point of view, the factors that sustain and generate human trafficking are the low education levels and the poverty of the victims. Now, the judge also acknowledges that the suspects have abilities and skills that help them identify vulnerable victims and exploit them on an emotional and physical level in order to generate monetary gains. Now, here's where it gets interesting. On page number seven, the judge says that even though the suspects do not have any criminal track record in Romania, he's aware of the fact that in the past they've been under investigation in UK for human trafficking and rape. He also says that based on the audio video evidence post by the suspects on social media, he is aware of the attitude of the suspects in regards to seeing women as tools to make fast and easy money. Now, in regards to the defense, the judge says that he does not agree with the defense saying that in the audio video evidence, the suspects were playing a persona or a character, and that's mainly because they had the same attitude towards the victims. He's basically saying, Hey, since you treated the victims in the same way that you are showing yourself to the public on the social media, it's hard for me to believe that you are playing a persona or a character. Now, moving on to page number 8, the judge also adds the fact that setting the suspects free will present a high risk of them escaping the country and going to a place where there's no extradition treaty with Romania. That's exactly what I've told you in my previous videos, guys, if you remember. And lastly, on page number 9, it is just the decision to keep the suspects under arrest for 30 days, and that's pretty much it. Now, in my opinion, based on what what I've read in this legal document, I think the Tate brothers are going to have a hard time defending themselves and this is mostly because all the audio video recordings that are available on the internet can and will most likely be used against them. Yeah, of course all the audio videos are available on the internet going to be used against them, but that's your idea. That's why they arrested them. They want to use the audio video, like all the evidence on TikTok and everything against them. Man. Okay, so that was the story on the top G right now. Okay, that's what's going to happen. Let's just have to wait, fingers crossed, and see what's going to happen. I, know, I need to see, once they detain them, I need you are not going to want to let them go. It made no sense. Once you detain them that way. Also, why are they not talking about the video that got leaked of the detainment? Of the, the, the raid and whatnot. Who leaked the video? Is it legal to leak the video? I don't, so many questions, so many questions, okay? Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Oh yeah, subscribe, like, comment, be reacting as I try to be reacting to the Tate story as it's going on. Okay.